Right, yes guys, welcome back. As it reads by the title, it is the first vlog of Euro 2020. Today we're kicking it off with an absolute banger. We have England versus Croatia. What a game this is. I've just got, now they've kicked off. Um, very, very sunny. England and they're all white. Obviously I'm Welsh, um, but I'm half English, so I will be. Hoping for an England win today, and England will want revenge on Croatia after the 2018 World Cup semi-finals. So yeah, I'll keep you updated in the game. This is going to be a mini match day vlog, and I'm going to be doing it for loads of other uh, European games. Hopefully, do some. Who knows, two a day, one a day, um, but I'll definitely be one every two days. Right, I've played eight minutes here in England. Are really knocking on the door. Phil Foden has had a great chance. Um, England, they're just on the front foot. Croatia struggling to get hold of the ball. Sterling had a good chance. Um, good tackle, though, to be fair, from the Croatian midfield uh, defender. Sorry, Mason Mount. Uh, Sterling's having a good game as well. England, I think I can see them getting the job there. My prediction, I reckon, is say 2 0 England. Foden, obviously, with his gas going here, very distinguishable. Um, yeah, 10 minutes played. England are on the front foot here. Right, I think as well, England are just quite happy to pass it round, maybe wear some of the Croatia players out and then just pounce on them. Um, obviously being played at Wembley as well, so the England players have a good feel of what it's like to play on this pitch, whereas Croatia don't. I think the last time they played here was November 2018. But yeah, England seem happy to pass it round and then when they're ready they seem like they can carve them open. That's what happened when they played in the World Cup, so they've got to be careful that they know Croatia can punish them, but I don't know if, I don't know, but I can see England winning this one. Right, 29 minutes played here at Wembley, and Croatia are starting to get a bit more of the ball, getting the foothold on it. Um, they've had a couple of good chances, they're finishing their crossing, has not been there. Um, just like a good chance then for Schalke with the ball in, but no one could get on the end of it. Uh, Rebic had a shot, it blazed over. Yeah, Croatia starting to get into the game, 30 minutes, um, still nil now. Right, a lot of people before this tournament, I, I heard them saying they were like doubting Mings at the back, but I think he's had a, a solid game, he's com he's commanding the other central defenders and the right back and the wing back and the left back. Um, yeah, he's doing a good job so far. I, th I kind of think it's the fact that England do have two central defensive midfielders on the pitch, they're fine up until then, but it's just when they don't have... They're not using Foden, the mount. They're not attacking as much. They need to bring those two players into the game. I, I feel like they've gone for a more too much of a defensive formation with Phillips and Rice in midfield. Um, they need to use Foden more, as shown when he hit the post. Um, but 39 minutes, still nil-nil at Wembley. Right, so Coletta Sarr has just handled it right on the edge. It's a free kick to England. Kieran Trippier, Mason Mount are over it. Can Trippier replicate the semi-final World Cup goal? Let's see. What's going to happen? Trippier! It's hit the wall. It's going to be thrown to England in the 43rd minute. Off Perisic there. Right, half-time here at Wembley. It's nil-nil. First 10-15 minutes... They were lively, England had a lot of good chances, but then just, it didn't, didn't liven up, it just went damp. Croatia, a couple of chances, but yeah, it's been a fairly quiet game. 55 minutes played in the second half, Modric has just unleashed a shot straight at Pickford. Trippier had, did a header back pass and it was just, just reached Pickford, um, or else Rebic would have nicked in. I think it was Rebic, or it might have been Kramaric would have nicked in and scored, but... Second half, it's been better from both teams. Um, a bit end to end. England again keeping the ball. Um, yeah, 55 minutes, still nil nil. Right. Mings on the ball here. It's gone to Trippier. Sterling. Back to Tyrone Mings. Stones. Should maybe could have been a foul uh, down the side before. Ooh. Phillips, Phillips' is ball, Sterling, it's 1-0, England have scored, it's Sterling, a 
got an assist for Phillips and Sterling's in there to make it 1-0. The England fans look at the scenes behind the goal. <laughs> they're on the boards. They're topless. They're... Oh. You can see what it means to them. Oh, it's good to see fans back in Wembley. <laughs> the topless fans. Oh, Sterling scores. It's a class assist by Phillips. And it's Sterling who opens England's Euro 2020 campaign off with a bang. What a goal. Great assist from Phillips. England 1, Croatia 0. England free kick. It's Mount. Good tackle. Mount wins it back. I love the look of Mason Mount. I think he's such a good player. Back to Rice. An hour played at Wembley. They were singing football's coming home. Phillips is a must starter, I think, for England here today. Such a good game. Foden. Sterling. Ooh, this is a good chance. Mount Kane. Oh! Oh, he's injured himself. That's a massive chance for two goals for England there. Oh, he should have scored that, Kane. Uh, very unexpected. She came out of nowhere. Great ball from uh, Mason Mount. And Harry Kane, he did well, the Croatian defender, to put him off. Right, massive chance for Rebic just then. Picks it up on the edge of the box. Just inside the box and just totally screws it wide. That was a great chance of 1-1 one -one for Croatia. Right, England have made a sub here. Harry Kane has come off for Jude Bellingham, who is the youngest ever player at a European Championships, 17 years old. It is crazy. England still leading with eight minutes to go. I can see England getting the job done here. Good start to their campaign. And yeah, it's 1-0, 82 minutes played. Right, full time at Wembley. England 1, Croatia 0. What a win for England. Put some top of their group. Um, obviously, they need to wait until Scotland and Czech play tomorrow at 2 o'clock. But yeah, very good game for England. My man of the match, probably have to be, I'd give it to Calvin Phillips or Mason Mount. Sterling's had a good game, but Phillips and Mount just do it for me. Very good performances from them. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, drop a comment down below. Uh, who you're rooting to win Euro 2020, and I'll see you guys in the video. Take care.